Hello and welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to take any bitmap and turn it into an SVG file, which we can then import into Blender um, automatically and it'll be a 3D model like this over here, which is super cool. You don't have to do any modeling, which is just really awesome. Um, so you can see here, this is just an example um, image or whatever piece of art that I just drew up in Photoshop real quick and I exported it. It's just a simple JPEG image, okay? As long as it's a bitmap of some sort, PNG will do as well. And then I'm going to show you how to quickly, you know, turn it, take it into Inkscape, which is free, convert it into SVG, and then bring it into Blender. So I've talked enough about this. Uh, let's get in to this awesome uh, little tutorial. So there's a lot of different ways out there. You can actually take a bitmap and convert it into an SVG file. Um, one thing I would usually use and I would recommend is just Inkscape because it's 100% free and the program itself isn't that big. So you can just go to Inkscape.org. Go to the download sections, current version, and in my case, I just downloaded the one for my computer, which is a Windows computer. And then, you know, you just go through the whole standard thing where you right click, you run it as administrator or whatever, and you simply install the program. So, super easy to um, do that. And then you're going to need a bitmap. In my case, I'm going to be using this bitmap right here, which is just a piece of art that I drew out in Photoshop, just real quick. And I just exported it as a JPEG. You can export it as a, a PNG if you want to. I just did a JPEG file. That'll be fine. So once you have a piece of artwork, um, just make sure that the background is white because the particular method we're going to be using is going to be relying on extracting the background or anything that's white. So make sure your background is just a nice white canvas. So once you have that established, go ahead and open up Inkscape. So I'm just going to go and get Inkscape, run it, just like any other program, super simple to use. So once it's opened up, you're simply just going to, um, you can actually just take your piece of art. So I'm just going to drag it into the viewport here and it's going to have this little um, window that pops up. Um, just leave it all as default. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and you should see your artwork pop up. Now mine was quite a large resolution even though it's a JPEG so I'm just going to um, drag it down. It doesn't really matter. Just even put it off to the side if you want. It, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be converting it into an SVG which means um, sizable vector graphics so it's kind of kind of going to be irrelevant anyway. It can be scaled infinitely. So make sure you select your piece of art and then you're going to simply go over here so you can see it's active. You're going to go here to path and simply go trace bitmap. So click on that. You're going to have this window pop up and you're just going to go here to multiple scans. You're going to come down here and just change it from brightness steps to colors. Enable smooth and um, that's about it. So that's all I did with mine. Oh yeah, and remove background. So it's going to automatically remove the background for you so you don't have all of that white there. So once you have smooth enabled and remove background and set to colors here, go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to have a little bit of a think about it and it should create it. So you can see now over here, if you just close this window, you can see that there's another one here. So just click and drag it. And the way you can tell here is you can just zoom in and you could actually see the edge here and you can zoom in an infinite amount of times. It's no longer a bitmap. It's now an SVG or a sizable vector graphic, which is um, really cool. So with that done, um, you can actually grab this one here to the side which is, you can see if you zoom in, it's got this jaggedy edge because we're dealing with a bitmap. So just click on it, right click and delete that. You no longer need it. Position it, this um, your piece of art over here in this box, however you like, scale it up. If you scale it, you can hold in control to keep the aspect ratio. So just keep that in mind. So once you have that done, simply go and go to file, go to save as. And in my case, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop and I'm just gonna call it, um, I'm just going to call it Art um, SVG. I just don't know what it is. You can call yours whatever you want. So I'm going to save it to my desktop. And now if I go to my desktop, you can see it's here. So just take this um, SVG file. You should see if you right click and go to details or the general here, it should show you it is a um, SVG file right there. So I'm just going to take Blender now and open that up. And this is super easy. So all we're going to do um, I'm just going to select all of these objects, just delete them. Simply go to your file and go to import. And then you can go over to scalable vector graphic. I said sizable, kind of same thing. So just click on .svg here. And then go find wh where it is. In my case, I put mine on my desktop. So art svg, .svg import svg. And you, here it is. It's kind of small in my case. But um, at the moment, it's not actually uh, mesh. It's just um, if you select any piece of it and you go into edit mode by tabbing to edit mode, 
you can see you've got these handles here and you're dealing with a curve pretty much. So that's pretty cool if you wanted to edit it. But in my case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select, because you can see this kind of like this outline here, which is pretty cool. We're just gonna select the outline and we're gonna hit X and just delete that. You can keep it if you want. So just select these outlines. I'm just gonna select these ones here. So make sure there's no outlines. And then we're just gonna select, hold and shift and select all of these parts here. Okay, all of these curves, just select them. And then you're gonna hit F3 and you're gonna to go to your search bar and you're gonna type in convert. And you're gonna go convert object um, to mesh, right? So click on that. And now if you select with all of these still active, tab into edit mode and you can see it's all a mesh. Now because I'm using Blender 2.93, I can select all of these by holding in shift and go into edit mode at the same time, which you might not be able to do in an older version of Blender. But once you have them all selected, just hit control J to join them all. So they're now one object and we can simply go into edit mode hit A to select everything and then just move them over here or wherever. So I'm just lining mine up with the origin point here. And with all of this geometry selected, I'm gonna go E to extrude and I'm just gonna extrude it out however much I want. Like that, you can also use a solidify modifier if you wish to do that. But there it is and you can see it's automatically put those colors on. If you go to your material slot here, there you go. You can see all of those colors um, that you would have in your um, vector graphic, whatever. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. So we've pretty much gone from this guy over here, which is just a 2D image. And this is, once again, it's just an example one I drew up in Photoshop, but this nice little vector here and, you know, turned it into that. So it went from a bitmap to an SVG to a 3D model. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.